Hey everyone. Hey bag ladies and bag dudes. I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness. This is my husband Danny and you're watching Ask Sarah, my weekly Q&A chat. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Ask Sarah. I saw a lot of uh, comments before the show asking about our bearded dragon flash. So it's kind of a little past her bedtime, but we kept her up an extra half hour so that she could make an appearance on the show. Her little eyes are closed, but she's here. Oh. I'm just going to show her to you real quick. I'll take and then, the and then Violet's going to take her because it's bedtime. So this is Flash. We usually read books together at night and uh, watch TV together. So she's a good little buddy, right? Violet, do you want to take her now and put her down over here? I still think we should name her Godzilla. Or maybe she'll just lay here. <laughs> She likes soft things. She has lots of blankets and she has a, like a little, kind of like a cat bed. If you have a cat bed with like a hole in it, like a soft bed. So that's her um, bed. Violet's going to take her to bed right now because she's kind of tired. But um, she's almost a year old. She's going to be one year next month right around Danny's birthday. So um, yeah, she's a good little buddy. Um, I have some information from Michelle Graham and Bronwyn about the uh, Sublime Bag Week 2 Sew Along that's going on in the Facebook group right now. It's a six-week sew along, so um, if you haven't joined in and you would like to, there's still plenty of time to do that. But um, the Week 2 winner of the Sew Along is Katherine Patterson. Danny's going to post her progress photo on the screen right now. Super love the black vinyl with her big floral prints, and I love the pinks and the purples in that fabric. So um, congratulations to Katherine on being the winner of... Uh, week two for the sew along. If you could just email me and I'll get you your prize. Congratulations to you. And I am so excited on seeing all these progress photos, the bags starting to come together with the zippers on the front and the handles. So uh, very exciting to see all of the progress and can't wait to see the finished bags uh, in a few weeks. Um, just a bit of uh, non-sewing related things that are going on. So I had my riding lesson today and uh, my trainer mentioned, uh, she, uh, she asked me, what are you doing on Sunday? And I said, well, Sunday I'm busy in the evening, which I've, you know, every, all of you out there know that I'm always busy Sunday nights um, because I'm spending Sunday nights with you. Um, but she mentioned there was a schooling show, which is kind of like a practice show going on at the stable on Sunday. And I was kind of a little unsure about entering, but my trainer convinced me. She said, it's not about winning or how well you do. It's just about practice. Uh, getting practice in the experience of actually uh, going to a practice show. So um, I'm going, uh, I, I wasn't going to tell my parents because I didn't want like a huge like cheering section because it's just a practice show. But since they're watching the show, now they know. So <laughs> I told Sarah I'm going to take my phone and live stream it to uh, uh, no. probably Facebook and uh, Please we'll see don't. what happens. <laughs> Please she don't. can't tell me no because I'll be behind the glass and if it happens... It happens. Maybe it'll be a private thing for the, the private sewing group. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not signed up, maybe you want to sign up. You see Sarah no. riding a horse. I don't mind if you record it, but like we can post it if I don't do anything embarrassing. No, it's way better <laughs> if it's embarrassing. Maybe it'll go viral. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right. So before we get over to some more uh, sewing related things, um, Danny's second favorite part of the Tuesday show um, if you would like to let us know in the comments, if you're a bag lady or bag dude, either on Facebook or YouTube, go ahead and type that in the comments right now. Um, super love the supportive bag making community. Um, if you didn't watch the Sunday show, um, either go watch it or at least check the comments because I posted um, the dates and locations of the local state and country meetups that are going on in the next uh, few weeks throughout the month of April and some at the beginning of May. Um, so go ahead and check out that link because uh, if there's one close by you, uh, I'd love it if you would uh, join your, at your local meetup. Some are doing sewing days, some are meeting at restaurants, so it's sure to be a ton of fun. And uh, we also have next Tuesday, Danny's going to be behind the scenes next Tuesday because... That's why I'm live streaming it Sunday, so be ready. So I'll be in trouble anyway, so I can't get in more trouble. <laughs> You'll be in trouble. I'm, I'm getting kicked off the show. Um, anyway, April 16th, which is next Tuesday, is our book club discussion for book number two, which is uh, The Last Runaway by Tracy Chevalier. If you don't have the book yet, there's still one more week to get it and read it, or a lot of people have been getting the audio book, and um, a lot of local libraries have those things. So 
Um, if you prefer not to purchase a book, um, you can sure take it out from your local library or get the audio version if your local library has the audio version. And what stock. are those things you're talking about? The book club. You said your local library has those things. Uh, the Is audio book or the oh, book? Oh, Yes. Okay. Um, yes. I would never uh, think I'd find a book at a library. <laughs> All right, so let's get over to your pick of the week. My pick of the week is, uh, uh, you know, I, I was trying to find something different because I like sling bags a lot. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to look for something different. <laughs> but this picture just like hit me like a lightning bolt. Let me share with everyone. It was from Nikki Makes and she did it with some, is that So Disney fabric? What is it called? Backstitch fabric. Backstitch fabrics. fabric. Uh, I love the zipper, the purple on the side. I mean, great picture taking. Uh, the fabric was amazing. The bag turnout was awesome. Uh, she absolutely killed it. It looks store bought. Um, I would see that in Disney and buy it because I know Vought would love it. Would you wear that at Disney, or you need more? Of I a, personally like wouldn't a Star wear that. Wars, yeah, I was gonna say I don't know if I could wear like princesses and castles and stuff for a bag. They have that new Star Wars area opening up at Disney in September, so. I'm pretty. I'd love to go see it. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be super crowded. Um, all right, so uh, let's do the. Sh uh, our request for our share really quick and then save lots of time for questions. So if you're watching on Facebook right now, um, I'll do a double share. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We'd like to invite you now to hit, the, flash sh it while you're going, sir. hit going. the share button with your other sewing friends on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube uh, channel, <laughs> you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and sub subscribe right now so that you're the first to hear moment, about, sir. um, new videos that we oh. post and, um, you're throwing me off here. Um, what are we talking about? I don't even remember. <laughs> You'll see um, new videos, free tutorials. Be the first to, when something uh, an announcement may happen. Great place. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all I say. Thank you, everyone, so much. Um, one more thing. I forgot to write it on my outline, but I put it right here on the desk, so that's how I remembered. Uh-oh. Is it to, a sneak peek? To go along with the book club discussion next Tuesday, I'm going to be posting another brand new free project and video and... This one is taking me a really long time because I made so many different versions, like different sizes, different shapes of the, the project. And um, it just took me so, so long to cut out like my zillion different versions. So I'm just going to slide it on the screen really quick so you can see one of the versions. OK, that's all I'm going to show you. <laughs> anyway, we haven't filmed the video yet, but it should be like a, a super quick. It's like an, an eight step pattern for each of the versions. So it's going to be really fun to put together. Of course, I had to make lots of versions so I could have rainbow colors of the projects in the sewing room. So um, again, that'll be posted next Tuesday after the book club discussion um, and very excited about that. Okay, so since I didn't answer questions on this previous uh, live show on Sunday, I'm going to take, uh, I, I wanted to hurry up and get through my outline so that Were I could- Were you gonna share a sneak peek like part of it? I did. Weren't you watching when I- No, I, I totally well, missed it. Well, I did, I promise. Okay. Um, all right. hands me, let me do the sneak peek. If you have no, if you have a question for me, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Go ahead and type that now, uh, either on Facebook or YouTube. I'm going to be answering as many questions as I can live. So either a sewing related question, uh, bag making related question, question about notions, tools, or hardware. Go ahead and type that in the comments right now, and Danny's going to put some of the questions up on the screen so I can answer them live. Um, Debbie's got see. an interesting comment. Debbie says, I've been trying to guess the name of your pattern for this project. So uh, the first free project was called the Clyde Bank Tote. And I took the, the word Clyde Bank from the city that the Singer Factory was in. Um, I did <laughs> choose a name from book number two for this project. It's also a location in the book. Um, actually, Kalisha emailed me earlier today and thought it would be fun to have a vote in the Facebook group to see what the name of the project would be. Um, it is a name of the city in book number two. So many people um, said, yeah, I'll let Danny show a peek. Who <laughs> 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 okay. saying that was too fast? Oh, it was too fast. OK. Um, I'll answer the question <laughs> first. And then um, Sandy wants to know, how do you join the book club? So you don't have to sign up or anything. But if you, I apologize, I don't have the link in the description of tonight's video already. but. If you just Google So Sweetness and then Book Club, it'll come up. I have a blog post, which I'll be updating every time I add a new book or a new project. And the links to the first and second books and the proj the first project are in that blog post. Um, and I, I, I guess... comments for your sneak peek. Okay. I was just going to show a little bit of it, so that's oh, all. Oh, wow. Sorry. 
it's kind of, I, I feel like once you see like most of it, you kind of have a good idea of what it is. So that's why I only wanted to show like a little, a little sliver of it. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a good question. Teresa says, any way to avoid binding on the inside of the hot mess casserole carrier? So uh, I wrote this pattern as a free pattern for Pellon in, I think, 2012. It was quite some time ago. Um, that original version of the pattern had uh, binding to finish the raw edges on the lining. Um, if you wanted to skip the binding, if you happen to already have the Amethyst Project bag, um, you can construct it the same way that the Amethyst Project bag is constructed. It'll work the same way. Um, or the Crimson and Clover train case. I use that kind of similar method for a lot of uh, other patterns that have the the zip around in the front of the project, if that helps. Um, I asked too early, can you recommend a good way to organize the patterns and instructions just starting out so want to organize before it is overwhelming? Actually, I was planning on showing that on Social Sunday, um, just how I store my patterns. And um, I don't store my own patterns since I have my patterns on my computer and I just uh, usually glance over at the computer. But um, I have a binder for garment patterns, and I'll show you this Sunday how I store them. Um, it's really easy. It doesn't cost a lot. I think I spent less than $10 on my organization methods for the garment patterns that I like to work on. So that'll be this Sunday. Anna says, any suggestions how to remove ink off glitter vinyl? Hairspray. Is that for a fact? I, I, I don't know for glitter vinyl, but I know my brother was in school when we were kids, and some kid accidentally took an ink pen, put it on the back of his jacket, and uh, my mom used hairspray. It was a leather jacket or what? what no, it was, it's it's like polyester. I would guess it was like where the applique was. It was like an eagle's jacket. Mm -hmm. And where the eagle was in back, where the, I think it was a winger or something, a part of the eagle, it had like a blue ink line. And my mom took hairspray and scrubbed it and it took it off. Oh. So you may want to try a sample piece first. Like a scrap? Okay. Yeah, but I'm sure if you, maybe if you Google okay. it, you might have a But if answer. anyone else has another idea, go ahead and type that in the comments now and Danny will look for that. Yep. Um, Joanne says, can we get the name of next month's book? Actually, I'll reveal, I'll be revealing the third book on the show next Tuesday. Um, it's a really good one. It's long, it's longer than the first two, but, um, I thought it was a worthwhile read and lots of fun things, uh, really interesting things going on in, uh, the third book. So I'll announce that next Tuesday. Janet says, Sarah, where can we get the hot mess casserole pattern? I believe it's still on the Pellon website, which is pellonprojects.com. Val said, love the look of top stitching using top stitching thread. Would you also use it in the bobbin? So um, I guess it depends on what the weight of your particular thread is. I've used 12-weight um, thread before to get a thicker look for the top stitching. Um, however, depending on your machine, but with my machine, my machine likes to have a thinner weight of thread in the bobbin. So I've sewn before with 12 weight thread in the top thread and a 40 weight thread in the bobbin thread. So you would just want to use a step thinner thread in the bobbin just so uh, everything doesn't start getting jammed up. So again, that's- Casey and Vivian both said they used hairspray. Hairspray, oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, I see another one, Mr. Clean, the magic eraser. That's a good Alcohol one Alcohol removes ink, Alcohol. Sherry says. Interesting. Goo gone. Um, Jolene says, I would like a wallet pattern that I can put a wrist strap on when I don't want to carry a purse. So we have... I was going to say we have one. The Day Trip cell phone wallet, which was in... Um, Minikin, Minikin Season, season, season two. 2. There was also another wallet pattern with a removable strap, which was called the... It's called his um, Turnpike wallet, sorry. <laughs> um, so those two are both in Minikin Season 2. There's a third wallet in that bundle, um, but it did not have a strap on that one. Sonia says, do you know a place where we can buy cute and different zipper pulls? So there's a seller on Etsy. Um, gosh, where's my mind tonight? Um, they were saying also hand sanitizer. I guess I'll call on that. I will help Ooh. remove it. Michelle said she did it last week for hers. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, what was that seller on Etsy? Do you remember? With Trina the, Peterson. Trina. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Easy. I'm reading comments and I even caught that on the side. No, my brain, I, I don't know what's okay. going on. Like, I, you know, I probably I didn't drink enough water today. My brain's just not working quickly tonight. Sonia said, um, we answered that question already. Sorry. Anyway, the answer to that question for the zipper pulls was um, if you just Google Trina Peterson on Etsy, um, Baby you'll wipes find and her Dollar shop. Tree helps remove ink as well. Baby wipes. I would never have thought of that. Very Use interesting. Use hairspray to get up his rain jacket work wonderfully. 
Mostly comments. Alcohol. Maybe the hairspray has the alcohol. It's what helps evaporate in it. You oh, know? okay. Hmm. Let's see. That's yeah, we see a lot of comments about the hairspray. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Karen says, do you sew exclusively with cotton thread for your bags, or is there ever a time you sew with polyester thread? Polyester thread is is great for bags as well. I just happen to use cotton thread. Um, I like using Aurifil 40 weight thread. Again, polyester thread will work for that as well. I just, I think I reached a certain point where I we don't have a lot of space, and I didn't want to have so many different types of threads in the sewing room. I just didn't have room, so I just settled on the Aurifil uh, 40 weight cotton thread, and that's what I use, and I use it for lots of different other projects. For garments, I do use polyester thread, but I just have a few different colors in the sewing studio and for my serger um, as far as the polyester thread goes. Um, Linda says, what weight thread do you use to top stitch? I actually just use 40 weight for stitching the bag together and for top stitching, but like I mentioned a little bit earlier, you can always use the 12 weight in the top and the 40 weight in the bottom if you want a thicker top stitch, like for, for straps or top stitching the top area of the bag, or if you're using like a a thread that you want to stand out. For instance, if you're making a black bag, but you want red stitching and you want it to be like really nice, thick red stitching, you could do that with a 12 weight. Um, thank you, Michelle. I was thinking in my head when I couldn't think of the name, I was like, should I say something? Is Michelle watching? Cause I know Michelle will know. Happy thank birthday, you for the Diane link. as well. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Diane. I hope you yep. had a beautiful day today. Um, Jane says, how far from the top do you place the zipper for the outer pocket on the Metro double zip pouch? Um, I'm not quite sure how to answer that question. So the zipper on the uh, Metro double zip, zip pouch, the pocket um, piece is cut shorter than the main panel and the zipper is attached to that uh, before attaching it to the main panel and aligning the sides and the bottom. Um, if that wasn't your question though, you can feel free to email me after the show. My email is sarah at sosweetness.com. Um, Kathy says, how much fabric does the new book club pattern use is it fat quarter friendly I can give you that information let me find where did I put the pattern instructions uh, um, let me look really quick is that okay <laughs> on my computer sure okay <laughs> let me take control of this I'll hit that share you know people said Danny I think he's back on his loopy pills I've yet to have loopy pills but if I were to find some I would definitely try one or two uh, <laughs> just to see what happens but uh, kids are off school tomorrow. Okay, so for the project that I showed, um, because it comes in different sizes, obviously my fabric requirements are gonna cover the biggest size, so if you're making a smaller size, you'll have fabric left over. Uh, one yard of exterior fabric, one yard of lining fabric, and um, some foam interfacing and shape flex, which you probably already have in your sewing room, so that's, that's all of the supplies that you'll need for that project, it's really quick. Margie says, uh, does thread go from 40 weight to 12 weight? Um, that's a good question. It probably depends on the manufacturer. Um, for the Aurifil, I believe that's the next jump down. So the Aurifil has 12 weight, um, 40 weight, 50 weight. Uh, they don't have a 60 weight, but I do use 60 weight polyester for hand sewing. And they also have an, an 80 weight. And I'm sure there's other manufacturers that have a different range. Um, but those are the ones I'm familiar with, or that I use at least. Uh. <laughs> Still same progress spot. That's the quick answer to that one. Uh, no, I've yet to do anything else. Um. I don't know. I just feel like we've had a lot going on lately. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know. Somehow it felt like it was easier to get a lot more accomplished in the winter when it wasn't nice outside. Or Yeah, I've been playing basketball with the kids, you know, the past few days because it's been so nice out. And we'll go in the, our alley and play and... Um, yeah, then the day goes by so quick and we have dinner and like, it's time to go to bed almost. I was, I was just thinking when you mentioned alley, cause I know not all parts oh, yeah, of the country have an alley. So I don't know if you want to explain real quick um, what an alley Chicago, is. In Chicago, our houses are literally next to each other. So left and right are right next to us. Then behind our house, we have, um, an alley, which is like a small street where you have your garbage cans where they do garbage pickup. And it's probably, I don't know, 15 feet across. And so in our backyard, we have a basketball rim that goes out into the alley so we can play like a half-court basketball. 
And we also have gangways. I know all the people I've talked to said, what's a gangway? Well, that's the on the side of our house where the sidewalks are for each person's house. Um, I don't know if it's a regional deal or what. Uh, Sanjita says, did you all make any progress with the embroidery machine? I'm tempted to try it out, but I am looking for inspiration. So I'm constantly looking at this website uh, my friend Christina got me on called Crashing Waves, and I was just thinking oh, about it earlier today. She's such a bad today. influence, let me just tell you. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the Crashing Waves no, embroidery she's a great files lady. are... The Crashing Waves website has embroidery files, which are really inexpensive. And um, the files are for super cute projects like bookmarks, um, those little sanitizer bottles, like holders for those, chapsticks for... Uh, not chapsticks, holders for chapsticks and all sorts of really cute projects. Did you say hand sanitizer? Yes, I did. Um, but no, no progress on that. I kind of put it away for now, um, in a box just because we don't have room to set it up. Uh, so when we move, whenever that happens, uh, I'm sure we'll be using it a lot more. Montana Wendy says, what weight is general purpose thread a spool for a sewing machine? Um, either a 50 weight or 40 weight. Um, I, I think I would say, um, I can use either 50 weight or 40 weight for making bags, uh, quilt blocks and other projects. Michelle says, Danny, do you seriously need me to make a weekly breakdown of tasks? I can do a sew so along with you. I will keep you on track and you'll get that bag done. Actually, I think you do need, I think you do kind of need that. <laughs> Maybe Michelle and Bronwyn, uh, you can bribe them into having a park sling backpack sew along and, um, Well, it'll Tamara's going to be here tomorrow. I'm sure she's, she's next, next Tuesday. Okay, well, next, next show. Okay. But yeah. Don't scare me. We said she's going to be here tomorrow. And I was yeah, just you thinking. You said no, sir. It's a secret party. No, I was like, I'm not ready for that, uh, for the show yet. But, um, <laughs> but except when they do, if they decide to do a so long for the park sling, uh, your incentive will be opposite where everyone else gets to um, enter for prizes. Um, if they get each week's Are we still talking task, about this? Be quiet. <laughs> everyone else will get to enter uh, their completed tasks for each week to be eligible for prizes but yours will be different oh my Your, goodness yours will be a punishment if you don't it's getting finish hot in here listen if you don't <laughs> if you don't finish e each week's task for the uh, hypothetical park sling so long you'll be punished i like that you're idea enjoying much this better. way too much yes. sarah you and get a wheel of pain for danny or something i get spanked on the live show if i don't finish <laughs> no, this task no. um chores will be your punishment just uh, like when you were well no when uh, I was growing up, we had chores for stuff and, you know, sometimes for punishment also, that'll be your punishment, an extra chore. My single chore growing up was taking clean my room. That was it. We had, uh, on the weekends, my dad would leave us a list before he went to work with, uh, for me and my brothers, and we'd each have a couple things, like a, a chore, that we, chores we had to do before he got home from work. Uh, if you didn't do them, what happened? Uh, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we always did them. And over summer vacation and breaks, we also had the chore list. So it would be like... Even Steve? Clean the bathroom or vacuum the basement or it's stuff like that. Vacuum the living room, whatever. Dust something. If he didn't do it, would you finish it for him? What? I just feel like Steve was a wild child from the stories I've heard. No, we all did our chores. I, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Angela says, on the park sling, they weren't, chores were not optional. Um, on the park sling, the second lining zipper, do you leave the bottom unsewn to birth the bag too? Um, so yes, uh, if my memory serves me correct, I directed you actually to leave both of the lining zipper pockets unzipped while you will only be using one to turn the bag right side out. I figured it was easier rather than telling you which one and having you um, leave the, the zipper open on the wrong one. I just told you just leave both of them unzipped and then... The one you'll need will be unzipped um, if you've left both of them unzipped. Jane says, do you line up the bottom of the outside pocket to mark where you sew the zipper to the front bag? And sorry, I'm having trouble getting the zipper pocket on right so the pouch comes out the right side and not smaller. Do you line up the bottom? Well, let me just say there's a comment that said, Danny, your face looks red. Because I was out in the sun oh. for the hour and a half today and, you know, two hours yesterday and was not wearing a hat. Uh, I was telling you just before the show yep. started, um, you really need to wear a hat because you think you're going to tan and your your skin type is not the tanning. And anyway, <laughs> tanning is not he that healthy for you. I no wasn't matter. trying to tan. I was just trying to get some fresh sun. Um, sun I think I know that. I think I know what this question is. Um, so if you're talking about the zipper pocket where you mark the box uh, with the rectangle, leaving an inch on each of the sides, if that's what you're talking about for the zipper pocket. Um, if you're placing a zipper pocket 
on a different bag, for instance, if you're not sewing with instructions, you can go ahead and use that rectangle to place on your lining fabric before you sew it right sides together. And you can decide if that rectangle is where you want the zipper pocket to be as far as placement goes. Just make sure you leave enough room down from the top of the bag so that your zipper pocket is not all the way up at the top of the bag, uh, taking into account the seam allowance so it's not too high. I hope that was your question. I think it was. Um, Bailey says, any ideas for easy sew items for adult or kid Easter baskets? I want to try fabric weaving a basket. So we actually have a free video that we did last year on the YouTube channel and on my website for a woven Easter basket. And if you don't have time to do the weaving for that free project, it's a free project by the way, um, if you don't have time to do the weaving, I saw some versions in the Facebook group where they just made a solid fabric and all you have to do for that is cut your exterior fabric the same as your lining and then you'll just skip the weaving. I can imagine that project would be like a maybe a one hour project. It would be really fast. And then Sarah says, Danny, just invite Michelle down for a week or two. She'll get you on task and get you out of this mess. Was Sarah at one of our retreats, Sarah? Uh, she two, a local friend? Two of them, I think. Yes, Sarah yes, lives Yes, and locally. I remember at her um, in our Friday sew-alongs, and she had the nice floor in her basement was done. Yes, yeah. Yes. She was so I might just have to stop by your house and ask for <laughs> help, because I can probably look an order up, I bet. I'm like, who's this? Danny, I need help my park sling bag. My wife won't help. Oh, come on in. No problem. You know, I'm sure it'll be really nice. I don't know. Is that against the law in any way or okay i'll find your phone number first okay <laughs> that might be against law too i'm gonna just bother you i'll leave it alone sorry tamra's coming her over already she said she's gonna help so i'm saved <laughs> uh, diana says i know it's off topic but what brand of serger would be a good one for a beginner so my first serger was an inexpensive one. I think you got that for me for Christmas one year. Oh, it was very expensive. It was, I think it was very. around $150 at the time. Whoa. It was the Brother 1034D, I believe was the correct product name for the serger. It worked great. It was just loud. Um, what else about that serger? Oh, I think I left it in the box for about a year before I took it out and was brave enough to use it because I was just scared of threading it, but um, it was really fine. I just looked up a video on YouTube how to thread it and uh, very because I didn't use it often enough, pretty much just about, a, well, I don't want to say every time I used it, but at the beginning, every time I used it, I would have to watch the video to thread it. Someone threatened to have me wear a tie for future shows until the bag is done. <laughs> <laughs> Another person said, Danny, you can't go back in the show until your bag's done. <laughs> So many creative punishment ideas. No, the chores sound like the best idea to me, for sure. Definitely. Oh, that's a good question. Um, There's my buddy right there. What would be a good color cork to match the De La Luna Haunted with the purple and the other one with the teal colors? This fabric line, Tula Pink De La Luna, was tricky to match with, uh, for sure, with the zipper colors, at least the zippers that we sell. Um, there weren't a lot of good matches for zipper colors. So I feel like this line is kind of leaning toward the neutrals as far as cork fabric go. And when I say neutral, um, natural, black. Black with silver would look good since like a haunted, uh, like a witch's fabric line kind of. Um, maybe the the violet cork though would look nice with that purple in the fabric line well, when she's over for the show next week we'll pull that's, some samples out. yeah that's probably the closest one um if you're looking for an actual color the violet um karen says another zipper pocket question when adding an exterior zipper pocket to any bag is the general rule of thumb to double the height of the side panel plus seam allowance and measure an appropriate distance down from the top to place your zipper double the height of the side panel um oh you're talking about the the size of the pocket. Um, I actually have a video on the YouTube channel that you might find helpful. It's how to add a zipper pocket to any bag and I detail two different sizes of zipper pocket. One is for if you're making a really large bag like a travel bag and the other size dimensions that I give you in that video is for your if you're making like a medium sized bag or smaller. Um, so you might want to check that video out. Again it's uh, if you do a search on YouTube it, it will be for how to add a zipper pocket to any bag. Christina says, Sarah, for the Sloan travel bag where the pattern calls for interfacing on the front pocket instead of foam, um, should I iron it in or see? Um, I 
Uh, there is uh, there is one piece on the front pocket of the Sloan Travel Bag that has foam interfacing um, to give that front pocket a bit of heft. But if you prefer, you can use a different. You can use either fleece or. She or... said, said sew in after that. She wrote that comment. She wrote sew in and then with an asterisk. Oh, should I iron so... it in or sew in? Um, either one will work for that particular project. Sorry, thank you for catching that. Um, yeah, that one doesn't need to be specifically sew in or fusible. It can be either. Um, Sherry says, is there a pattern for my laptop that can be adjusted for its size? Yes, there's a pattern in uh, Minikin Season 1. It's called the Grab and Go Sleeve. And I actually walk you through in the pattern. I just ask you to get two different measurements off your device, the length and the height. And then there's just a really super simple formula. You just plug those two numbers in the formula and um, I'll give you measurements for cutting out your main panels and um, length of your zipper in the instructions. So um, really super simple and easy. And that pattern has handles on it, but if you just wanted like a plain sleeve without handles, you could just leave the handles off. Erica says, will you have a video for the coalition bag? Um, so I'm not sure about my schedule for the rest of the year. I know that that video will not be in the next four pack. I don't have a date for the next four pack video bundle, but we're hoping it'll be sometime in April or May, depending on how fast I can get everything done. It'll be two new patterns, um, and it will also be the Sloan Travel Bag and the Polaris Bag. Margie says, when you use zipper on a roll, do you cut it to the size listed in the pattern or longer so you can make your zipper stop by folding down the side at an angle and sewing? So that's a really good question. So I guess it depends on um, what the pattern instructions direct you to do if it directs you to cut your zipper to an exact length like some of my patterns do like the creative maker supply case for an instance um if you're not sure i would just recommend leaving it longer so um you can just put the zipper pull on and leave it until you reach the step in the pattern where you'll be inserting the zipper so if you're directed to cut to a certain length then you can do that without wasting anything and if the pattern is not directing you to cut it a certain length, for instance, if it asks for a 20-inch zipper and they nev never tell you to cut it down or anything, then you can go ahead and um, have 20 inches. I would add um, at least a half inch to that, though, because most zipper manufacturers measure the length of the zipper from zipper stop to zipper stop, and there's usually a little bit of extra zipper tape tail at either end, which can equal usually approximately a half an inch, depending on the type of zipper. Um, so hopefully that helps. I know that oh, was a long-winded yeah, question. Index of your tutorials, can they find one? Um, oh yeah, um, the tutorials you can find on my website, sosweetness.com. There's uh, some tabs across the top of the page or the side if you're looking on a cell phone or tablet. And uh, you wanna look for the tutorials tab and there's a sub tab underneath that. There's one for bags and that's free bag patterns. And there's another one underneath bags that say that says bag making techniques and that's tutorials like how to add a zipper pocket to any bag, how to install purse feet, stuff like that's under the bag making techniques tab, sub tab. Um, JoLynn says, what is the difference between that laptop bag and Minikins and the Lillian laptop bag? So I can actually show those to you if Danny doesn't mind if I grab them really quick. That's the great thing about having Danny on the show. I can feel free to get up and walk away. Walk away, yep. And that threaten you. So as I was saying previously, uh, kids are out of school tomorrow, so I have a lot of great tasks to do. I'm having them go outside, cut the grass, rake up. I'll be sitting here making sure everything's done correctly. No. And I mean, no, we're, our grass is not even growing yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I love to put them to work. Whatever they can do, I will make them do. Okay, so I'll show you first the one that I mentioned. Can you, Maybe you could take the question off the screen. No. <laughs> Okay, so this is the grab and go sleeve that I was mentioning a second ago that you can uh, use the directions in the pattern to size it to your device. Um, I'll give you a side view so you can see there's the zipper. Um, I used my mom's broken laptop so that I could keep the laptop in there forever. So here's her laptop. As you can see, it's the appropriate size for uh, fitting the laptop inside. Obviously, if your device is small, you're going to be using the measurements of your device, like if it's a little tablet. You'll be using the measurements of your device, and obviously yours will be fit to size for your device. You can just put it down. It's fine. We're done with that one. I'm done. I'm not even holding it. Look, boom. Okay. Um, this is the Lilium laptop bag. This is size small. There's a size large in the pattern as well. Obviously, longer and taller. Um, this one's got 
zipper on the back. This one's very well padded on the inside. So besides having foam interfacing in the bag, there's also half inch foam. You can probably see the thickness down here, how thick this is. That's half inch craft foam, which you actually, um, while you're working on this project, you actually don't sew through that half inch craft foam. It kind of sits in your lining. Uh, you create a sleeve while you're putting everything together. There's um, a middle zipper divider. So as you can see, I actually use this laptop bag. There's my charger on the bottom. The laptop goes in this section. And then if you had other little accessories, you'd be putting those in there. So again, this is size small. There's a bigger size as well. Um, this one has a video. This is the Lilium laptop bag. Um, the other green uh, sleeve that I just showed, that's part of Minikin season one. So that's a bundle of 12 patterns and videos. Hopefully that clears things up as far as the difference. Obviously the, the grab and go sleeve is a much quicker project. Um, I'd say probably two or three hours sewing time to make that. Um, Lori says, any progress on adding free bag patterns to your website so we can have them in our accounts? So, so far I've added three free bag patterns to my actual shopping section of my website. So you can currently find the Clyde Bank tote, uh, the Oreo bag, and the Kennedy bag. So what that means is you can still find them for free on YouTube or my website uh, under my blog section, but you can find them in the shop also. They're free, so if you just purchase those, uh, you won't need to enter a credit card or anything like that. Um, but I had some requests for from people who wanted to have the free patterns and videos for the free patterns in their accounts as well. So I still have a bunch of other free bag patterns to add, but those are the ones that I've added so far. Gail says, where can I find water resistant fabric for the picnic in the park cooler? Um, you can use either laminate fabric or um, you can, if you're having trouble finding a fabric or if you've purchased a fabric that you want to use that's not waterproof, you can waterproof the fabric yourself uh, using one of two methods and I have free videos for both of these on the YouTube channel. You can iron on clear vinyl to your fabric which will make it waterproof or you can paint on um, kind of like a gel product. It's called Odie Coat for fabric. Um, and again, I have videos for both of those on the YouTube channel. Out of the two methods, I prefer the Odie Coat. I feel like it, it's a little bit nicer of a finish, but definitely both of those products could be used and then you, you'll have any fabric that you can turn into a waterproof or laminate fabric. Laura says, what size of laptop does the small fit? Um, it's a good question. What size is our laptop right here? Do you know? 13 inch. Um, Actually 14 inch, I lied. 14 inch? Yeah. Let's, oh, I don't want to put it you in can there. Can we just put the end of it in there so we could see how much room there is to spare? So the Here, put the, the base on it and you can see if it Oh, fit. okay. Okay, so, okay, that answers it. So the 14 inch laptop fits in here and there's like a, an inch to spare. So if you have anything bigger than a 14 inch laptop, go ahead and go with the size large. Um, Doreen says, Sarah, any plans for a yoga mat bag in the near future? I do have plans for that. Uh, I'm not sure when it'll be. I'm hoping this year sometime. Um, I feel like the year's flown by already so fast. Um, I do have it on my list. I've started to do some research on what type of bag, what types of features would look good for a yoga bag. So hopefully sometime soon. Um, about your schooling show, my trainer says the goal for anyone's first show are one, stay on your horse, and two, don't be the reason anyone, including you, gets hurt. Anything else is gravy. Well, I can definitely do that. I can stay on my horse, um, and I'm always really careful uh, about staying out of people's way or calling if I'm calling out what I'm doing. So if I'm making a circle, if I'm going down a line of jumps, if I'm going to the inside, I'm, I'm pretty good usually about calling calling out my intentions so other people know where I'm headed. <laughs> Donna says, do we have to buy the minikins in order to get any patterns? Um, I do sell a lot of patterns separately. Um, I have, have a lot of free ones too. Yep. We do have two patterns, uh, two bundles of minikins, minikin season one and minikin season two. Those particular projects are only available in those particular bundles. Um, but we do sell a lot of stuff separately. Yep. Um, Colette says, do you have a pattern that would be good for a book sleeve to slip a novel in and protect it from damage when thrown in a bag? Actually, it's in the basement, so I don't think I have time to run down and grab it, but that, no, don't. But that grab and go sleeve that I showed you, um, the green one, I actually, again, that's from Minikin season one. I made one of those for a hardcover book because I have 
or I did have a lot of hardcover books that were about the same size and shape. So I actually made one of those grab and go sleeves. I just measured the book and uh, it's perfect because it has handles in it. And I, when I, when I was reading a lot of hardback books, I was using that grab and go sleeve to take the book um, on the go so it wouldn't get damaged. Candace says, speaking of water resistant fabric, I'm using PUL as my lining in a Clyde bank. Do I still interface it? Um, Someone said, I would not put an interface there and melt it. Maybe it's like iron on interface and not sewing. I have used, since you're using it for a bag and not a lunch bag, um, you probably can get away with not interfacing it. I've used the PUL fabric before for a lunch bag and I wanted it to be insulated. So I did use interfacing, but I sewed it in. It was um, insulated fleece, which was a sew and interfacing. Um, but it is hefty enough to use without interfacing for just a regular bag. Les says, the hobo bag, can you use Shape Flex instead of foam? You can. Um, my friend Tamara made one with fusible fleece and I felt like it was substantial enough. Like it, she actually brought the bag over to my house and I felt it. The sides were made of cork in the bottom. It was substantial enough. I feel like if you made it with only Shape Flex, it would be really super thin and flimsy like a grocery bag. But if that's the look you're going for, I say go for it. Margie says, have you had any trouble with sew-in magnetic closures, the black squares? I tried them, but no success. I've used those black squares that you're talking about, and they're not my favorite. Um, I do prefer the sew-in uh, or the invisible magnetic snaps that come in the little clear plastic sleeves. Um, if, you're cur if you're curious or if you don't know what those look like, I do have a free video on my YouTube channel on how to install magnetic I'll snaps. I'll the wrong picture. Oh, oops. They actually, in the, the link she linked it, it had the picture of the, um, the cover. There's the link to the notebook cover, but it actually showed the right oh, picture. Oh, somebody was asking. That's what you were talking about, the notebook. Remember for the book cover? Oh, See? I wasn't, no, I was not talking about that one, but that's... Oh, that's what they asked about a, a good, book cover. Okay. I, I'm going to stay out the rest of the show. Just she, no, she was up. talking about a sleeve, but yeah, the, for a book cover, that's a good idea also. That's what I thought she was asking about. Oh, that's a good question. So this past Sunday, I showed a demonstration on how to attach strap anchors. So in case you missed that, that's on this past Sunday's show. Amanda wants to know, when using strap anchors, what adjustment to the existing straps do you need to make? Um, so you just need to, I think the, I'll show you since I still have the little piece here from my uh, sample. This is what a strap anchor looks like. All you need to do, I guess, um, as far as adjustments go, you just need to make sure your strap width is going to fit whatever anchor that you've purchased. So this one is, I believe this one's maybe an inch in width. So if your pattern instructions call for a wider or less wide strap, you just need to make sure obviously that your strap is one inch or whatever the width of your anchor is so that it fits in here. Um, the placement for the tabs, you might wanna consider whatever pattern you're working on. Um, when it comes to the portion where you'll be sewing tabs on, you'll probably just wanna consider if the placement looks nice uh, for this, since it's a little different than what you'll be using in the pattern. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Terry says, what is PUL? It's a short name for three words, which I guess I'll have to look it up. It's a waterproof fabric. A lot of people use it. Uh, when our kids were babies, we used cloth diapers and it was a fabric that was used in a lot of cloth diapers, so that's why I'm familiar with it. Um, it's polyurethane something, I think, polyurethane something. Uh, Danny's Google. Type of laminated fabric stands for polyurethane laminate. Polyurethane laminate, okay. Thank you, Danny. But yes, it's waterproof. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Roxy says, do you have a pattern for a machine cover or a mat? Um, actually, I don't, but that would be a good That'd be a idea for a free tutorial. project. Yeah. yeah. Penny says, um, um, would be great to have a pattern for a bed tote for those confined to bed. Oh, that's, that's a really good idea. Um, I probably... Sometimes when people suggest patterns, I sometimes ask for further information, like either photos or something specific. Uh, that they'll be putting in that type of bag. So if you want to email me something like that, that would be really helpful because, um, for instance, someone emailed me this past week about a bag for um, a dancer, for um, ballet shoes and point shoes and all sorts of things. And since I'm not a dancer, 
Um, it was hard for me to visualize, but she gave me some more information and photos, and then it made it really much more clear for me. So um, if you'd like to do that, that same thing for the bed tote, give me some more information or photos or ideas, um, that would be helpful. I'm not saying you have to design the pattern for me. I just like to know um, what types of things would be necessary for someone who would be using that particular project, if that makes sense. I think we should do a small giveaway. Oh, what are we giving away? I, I had no idea about this uh, beforehand, but that's okay. You know, I was just thinking about it. It's been so much interaction and great, you know, community building, I think, in our groups and everyone showing up and you talking on the show. In our Tuesdays, uh, I appreciate everyone coming out, and I'm so Sarah does as well. And I think that everyone's helping each other so much. Like, Michelle's constantly writing stuff in here. Other people are writing answers to people's questions where I'm not even posting this because they've been answered by someone in the group and stuff. So it's been really nice, and we appreciate everyone's giving this. So I think we should reflect that back okay? and maybe do like a quick winner right now. And then if someone's watching it later, they can be, have a chance to win. Maybe like, I don't know. That's fine. What do you think? I don't know. Just pick something. One bajillion dollars. <laughs> Is that a number? It's funny because, you know, <laughs> normally during the shows, like I have to be talking a lot and I'm trying to look at the camera. But now that you're doing a bunch of talking, like I'm, I'm like, wow, you got really red. I'm like, oh, you look so red today. I feel hot. That's what I said earlier when it's, <laughs> it's hot in here. I was legit saying it was hot in here because I feel hot. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm burnt like bacon, but uh, it's cool. I got some sun. All right, so we're doing two prizes. One we're giving away live. Right now. So here's the deal. For this giveaway live, let's do two $50 gift certificates, okay? Two two of them live? No, one fifty now for oh, live oh, and one fifty oh. for uh, next Tuesday. We'll pick the winner out. Okay. So be... for this one live right now, if you haven't shared now, share. If I see 10 more shares on the thing, it's going to be a $50 gift certificate. If we don't see 10 shares, it's going to be a $25 gift certificate. So let's see those shares go up. Oh, you can see it on your computer. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. And they're starting to go up. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we'll pick a random winner. We'll make a comment. So if you commented during the show or if you haven't commented now, um, you pick the random number, sir, and we'll do the next, the last three pages only. So it'd be, we'll do five pages, so 100 comments. Well, shouldn't we give them a second to Yeah, it's going to be, comment? it takes about a minute, so everyone's comment comes through. And we'll do the last four pages of comments, so it'll be one through 100. And uh, should we do a random? I can't add it, it should to be the random. show. No, I, no can... I mean like a random comment number, like well, random number generator. I, I just won't look at the screen and I'll just pick a number, but we'll give another okay. minute. So why don't we just talk for another minute to sure. give people. All you have to do is leave any comment you want, whatever yep. you want. You just can say type, anything. Yeah, just type something in the comments. Say, Danny, you look really red. <laughs> it works. All right, so what should we talk about for the next minute? We can talk about... Um, Name the next uh, book giveaway project. No, I named it. Or I named. I did what name it already. It? Oh, okay, we can just show... Uh, What's the name of it? No, I'm not saying. How about can, you give the first two letters? Should I just say what the name is? Because it really doesn't matter, I, does it? I'm not the kind of person to keep secrets. I like to say everything right um, away or give presents right away. Well, I can't give the whole name because it kind of gives away the projects. Why don't you just give them like the first few letters? Well, Make them try to guess. The city from That'd the, be a great comment. The city from the book that I chose um, was Faithwell. So that's part of the name of the project. It's Faithwell and then, you know, what the project is. So I'd rather not say, but... Okay. Fair enough. I think that's enough time. I see a ton of comments go through, a, a ton of shares. We appreciate it. Um... All right, Sarah, you could pick the random number. Okay, so I'm not so going to look. So one for we're gonna do two random numbers. Okay. Um, I'm gonna write. First there. will be the page. Okay. Because it's gonna change because it's going through so fast. There's so many comments okay. going through. So how? What so you're gonna pick a number one through four, and then that page. I'm gonna you're gonna say the second number, and that'll be the the winner. One through twenty for this, the page. Yep. Okay, so one through four, I'm gonna pick uh, two. Okay. And then one through twenty, I'm gonna pick um, seventeen. Oh, you're going to make me count upwards. Okay, got it. Okay. Kathy one. Kathy, Santori? Is that you say? It? Kathy, please email me uh, after the show. My email is sarah at sosweetness.com and we'll get you that $50 gift certificate. Congratulations. Again, this was random out of people who commented. Yep. We have and a. You have no chance to win because we'll yep. take another random comment with the random number generator from all the comments on the pages and we could pick just two numbers. And then I'll see whatever the comment is. So it works for Facebook and YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Remind me next Tuesday that we need to announce the winner from the second giveaway, though. I'm sure if we don't, someone <laughs> yeah. on here will m mention to us that we can go back and do it, maybe do it live. I can maybe That's get true. like a, a screen share and show the random number generator. 
people are like, how do you guys get it? You know, there's you can do random number generator in Google, and it'll pop up. You can mm-hmm. literally hit the button. It's random.org is yep. the website. Um, yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to forget because I have so much planned for the show next week. Not only are we talking about the book. People but, remind us. Don't worry. But I, I prepared like a presentation because of the types of quilts that were talked about in the book. So like I have this whole presentation planned. I don't know how we're going to keep it like under an hour, but, I, you know, I'm going to keep it brief, but I'm pretty excited about next Tuesday. Anyway, I hope you have a great rest Thanks of the week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you for a book club next Tuesday and happy sewing. Bye, everybody. Yep. See you guys. Bye-bye. I can just find that darn clothes button.